In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can start your own t-shirt dropshipping business in the UK. Not only that, but I'm also going to be giving you 13 of the best UK suppliers for said t-shirts. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and run that intro and jump straight into it. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And just as a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. On this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best products to dropship all the way to some of the best tips and tricks to help you succeed. Just check out what some of these people are saying about our previous videos. Did you know that the apparel business in the UK is supposed to hit 65.6 billion pounds by the end of 2026? That's an insane lot of money. And that alone Alone should be telling you that this is the perfect time to start getting into dropshipping t-shirts. Now, when it comes to dropshipping t-shirts, there's two different ways that you can go about it. For one, you can start dropshipping t-shirts with designs already on them, or on the second hand, you can start dropshipping blank t-shirts so that way people can purchase them for the most part in bulk and print them themselves. Regardless of whichever way you choose, in the top 13 suppliers that I'm going to be giving you in this video, I'm going to be covering both. So these suppliers are going to cover both blank shirts as well as already designed graphic shirts. Now to make things just a little bit easier for you, I'm going to go ahead and supply all of you with an easy to reference cheat sheet. In that cheat sheet, as always, I'm going to have all of the different links that I'm going to be talking about in this video, along with a couple of extra bonuses. Now, if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag dropshipping shirts, and let me know which one of the two methods that I just spoke about. Let me know which one you would prefer to do. Do you prefer to go the bulk blank route or the pre-designed graphic t-shirt route? Once I see that you went ahead and commented, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. So how can you start your own t-shirt dropshipping store? How can you get started dropshipping t-shirts? Well, it's actually fairly easy. And one of the first things that we need to do is we need to find some best selling products or some best selling t-shirts along with some reliable suppliers to source them from. So let's go ahead and get started actually counting down the best suppliers to use for your t-shirt dropshipping business and while we're doing that we're also going to go over how you can find some best selling shirts on the suppliers so to start this list is actually going to be broken down into two separate parts the first one is going to be wholesale suppliers and then the second part is going to be retail suppliers so kicking off our list for wholesale suppliers at number one we have the hk now one great thing about the hk is the fact that even though it is a wholesale supplier there's no minimum order quantity so you can order just one of pretty much any product you find on there now for the most part the hk does have some fairly competitive prices you might have to look around a bit for some of the cheaper options so if you scroll down you're going to see some that are ranging from about 31 dollars, such as this one but this is also advertised as a luxury style t-shirt which if you decide to import one like this you can always up the price and advertise it as a luxury style t-shirt but if you start scrolling through a few of these you're going to notice that the prices do vary so you're going to find some that run for about 19 dollars. you're going to find some that run for about 24 and you're going to find some that run for about 12 dollars. so just look around for some of the shirts that are best for you and see which ones fit your style best or what you want your brand or your t-shirt business business to represent. Now, if you're searching for blank t-shirts and would like to go the blank route and possibly even offer these in bulk, then you can just simply search up blank t-shirts. And as you start to scroll down, you're going to see some that do have designs on them already. But as you can see right here, you have a few that are blanks. These are even cheaper, which are better because typically people aren't going to pay too much for blank t-shirts. So these actually start off at about $8.47, which isn't too bad. It's still pretty expensive, but you can market these as a premium style blank and people will gladly pay it. Now, everything that I did just mention about finding either the graphic t-shirts or the blank t-shirts on a website, that's going to apply to pretty much every single website that we're going to go over, not just the HK. So just always keep that in mind when you're searching the different suppliers. Next up on our wholesale list, we have plain t-shirts. Now, one of the best things about plain t-shirts is the fact that they have some very quick shipping. Now, plain t-shirts actually offers next day delivery on most orders in the UK. So you can rest assured that your customers are going to get their items pretty quick and we all know that fast shipping equals happy customers. They also offer a very practical return policy. So from the date of purchase, you have 14 days to make a return. If in case the customer isn't happy or if the item was defective, you do have up to two weeks to be able to return the item no questions asked. Next up on our list, we have Fire Label. Now, Fire Label, for the most part, is going to be blank garments. So you're going to have tons of different options for blank t-shirts. Now, not only do they have blank t-shirts, they also have a few other items as well. So they have hoodies and sweats. They have items for kids headwear, bags, and more. Now, Fire Label does offer bulk pricing. So bulk pricing typically means that you're going to get a better price the more shirts you order at once. So if you're looking to go the blank t-shirt route, this is a perfect option for you to be able to start maximizing your profits. Fire Label also offers some pretty flexible shipping options, which includes the option for free next day shipping in most regions in the UK. And last but not least, to top things off, they actually have some exceptional customer service. Dealing with them is always a pleasure and you can always rest assured that 
when you reach out to them, they're going to promptly get back to you in a professional and courteous manner. Always remember that the customer service we receive from our suppliers is going to end up being somewhat the same customer service that we give our customers. If our suppliers take two to three days to get back to us, then that's about the same time it's going to take us to get back to our customer. And that in itself is already two or three days more than what we should be taking to reply back to our customers. Typically, we want to reply back to them at least within 24 hours. Buy T-shirts online is our next contender on this list. And while this company does offer blank T-shirts, they also offer printing and embroidery services. So if you do want to start up your own T-shirt brand with your own designs, then this is a great option for you to choose. Buy T-shirts online offers bulk discounts as well as a pretty flexible return policy. Now, with the return policy, you do have up to 28 days to be able to claim a return. That's a pretty good amount of time. Every order that's placed from Buy T-Shirts Online is shipped from their UK warehouses. So with that, orders are typically going to be received between one to two working days. Up next on our fifth spot, we have Cotton Print. Now, I was going to show you their website, but unfortunately, they currently are under maintenance. So stay tuned for them to see what they come out with. But on Cotton Print, you can find a pretty wide variety of T-Shirts. In the UK, they also have some pretty quick shipping with most orders being shipped between one to two working days. Now, one last thing that Cotton Print is actually really well known for is their superb customer service. So if you have any issues, if you have any questions regarding any of the products, or you just have any general questions, you can go ahead and reach out to them and they'll get back to you fairly quickly. Up next on number six, we have Wardens. And one great thing about Wardens is the fact that they have some pretty low priced t-shirts. As you can see, this gilding t-shirt is running for just under three pounds. For the most part, Wardens is going to be blank garments, even though they do have a few different t-shirts with a few different designs, such as just army prints. But at the end of the day, those are also considered blanks. Now, another pretty cool thing about Wardens is the fact that they actually have an outlet center and in the outlet center you can find some more discounted prices next up at number seven we have clothes to order now on clothes to order for the most part you're going to be able to customize all of the different garments which actually makes it ideal for those of you that want to start your own t-shirt brand with your own designs on them clothes to order has over 24,000 positive reviews on trust pilot so you can rest assured that ordering from them they would be a great supplier to source your shirts from on top of that they have no minimum order requirement so if you want to order just one personalized t-shirt you can do so which makes it ideal for drop shipping as well. And one of the best parts about this is the fact that they have a satisfaction guaranteed delivery. So if for whatever reason your order is late, they will even compensate you for the late order. So a lot of the times they'll even give you a credit. Next up, we have Style Center Wholesale offering next day delivery in the UK. Now Style Center for the most part is going to be pre-printed designs. So you're not really going to find any blank t-shirts on here. You might find a couple, but really the point of these shirts isn't going to be to sell them as bulk or sell them for people to be able to print on themselves. These garments, or these t-shirts are going to be ideal for you to start your own brand with all their pre-printed graphics and designs. Now, looking through the website, you can see that some of their items are actually pretty expensive. So you can see that some of these run for about 22 pounds, while others run for up to 55 pounds. Now, that might seem pretty expensive, but Style Center actually offers a drop shipping program. Now, you need to create an account for this, but if you join their drop shipping program, you get access to some wholesale discounts. Now, one of the best things about Style Center is the fact that they have some great customer service. They're actually really dedicated to their customers and their entire entire goal is to make their customers happy. Now, last up on our list for wholesale suppliers is going to be Snuggle. Now, Snuggle, for the most part, is going to be a print on demand supplier. So you're not going to be finding any blanks here, but you are going to have the ability to upload your own designs and print the t-shirts the way that you want them printed. Snuggle offers some of the latest in t-shirt printing with machines like DTG printers, which are direct to garment printers that are literal t-shirt printers. You put the t-shirt in there and it prints on top of it, just like a regular printer does on paper. So using this type of t-shirt printing, you can always expect some high high quality prints. On top of that, they have some pretty competitive pricing and they have over the top customer service. They vow to always make their customers happy so you can expect some great customer service from them. Now that does it for our list of wholesale suppliers. Let's move on to our list of retail suppliers and kicking off this list at number one, we have AliExpress. Now on AliExpress, you're going to find a little bit of everything. So you're going to find pre-printed t-shirts as well as blank t-shirts. Now this is where you have to be a bit careful because when you just simply search up t-shirts on AliExpress, you're going to get a few different options. So these are the things that you need to watch out for. So here you have a mini design and and then if you scroll down, you have an M&M design and then you have a Cannibal Corpse design. Cannibal Corpse and M&M are both music icons and Minnie is a character from Disney, as we all know. Now, Disney is not one to be messed with when it comes to copyright. So always stay away from things like music personalities, already established characters, already established brands from AliExpress or pretty much any supplier's website. This can also apply to DHgate, which we covered earlier. You never want to sell these copyrighted products because 
they can land you in some hot water, more specifically, some hot legal trouble. And that's always best to avoid. Aside from that though, you can find a lot of great options on AliExpress. You can find some options where you can print your own design. So you can do some type of POD on here. You can also find some different types of designs that are already pre-made, such as this happy face or this love shirt. Quick tip, if you're drop shipping on a platform like let's say Etsy, then a shirt like this one, like this love shirt right here, it can do fairly well. And that being said, I'm actually going to add this to my dropshipping store. So give me one second here. Go ahead and open in a new tab. I'm going to take that link. Then I'm just going to go ahead and sign on to my AutoDS account. And I'm simply going to go ahead and add a single product. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And then I'm just going to hit edit now. Now, as you can see here on this page, I can go ahead and change anything that I need to. So I can change the titles, the descriptions, the different variants or the images. But that's something that I'm going to do later because we need to get along with this video. But as you just saw, this is one part to starting your own dropshipping business. You're going to need to import your best selling products and and one of the easiest ways to do that is using a platform like AutoDS that can automate the entire thing. This is honestly my preferred way of doing it just because it's so much easier, but you can also do it manually. When you do it manually, it's going to be a bit more time consuming. What you have to do in this case is just go ahead and copy over the title. Then you're going to have to copy over the description. And if you can't copy over, let's say this right here, since it's an image, you're going to have to type it up. Aside from that, you're also going to have to save all of the different images. And when you create the listing on your store, you're going to have to make all of the different variations. So as you can see, automating the entire process of importing your products is a lot quicker than doing it manually. Now, doing it manually is OK if you have maybe one, two or five different items to import. But once you start really importing a lot of different items, let's say 10, 20, it can get extremely time consuming. But enough with the product importing information. This would actually be a very popular item on Etsy. So I do suggest that if you are dropshipping on Etsy, look for these types of shirts. Look for the ones that look like they're hand printed because most of the times they are. And also look for unique types of garments. So look for crop tops, v-necks or even some types of button downs. Most listings that you're going to find on a platform like Etsy are going to be pretty much just plain t-shirts. So having something unique, such as a crop top, can do fairly well. Now, AliExpress also has this thing called the Dropship Center, which gives you some suggestions for some trending products. So if you scroll down on the AliExpress Dropship Center, you're going to find tons of different products, but this is not what we're looking for. So right now we're looking for t-shirts. All we have to do is click on over to the category fashion and jewelry, and then you're going to get prompted with a ton of different items in the fashion niche. Now, as you can see, there are things like dresses, skirts and a few other things. But if you keep scrolling through and going through the different pages, you're bound to find a couple of T-shirts or something that can fit your store. Now, second up on our list of retail suppliers for T-shirts in the UK is going to be Amazon. Now, Amazon is on here because of the simple fact that they have one amazing customer service and two some of the fastest shipping pretty much ever. When you search up t-shirts on Amazon, you're gonna have a few different options. Now, for the most part, here you can find a little bit of everything, but if you do wanna sell, let's say blanks, when it comes to blanks from Amazon, you're gonna find them bundled. So for the most part, you're not gonna find single blanks. You're gonna find them in packs of maybe five or 10. Now, when it comes to graphic t-shirts, in this case, you can find quite the variety. So you have designs ranging from something like this trippy skull to just plain text designs like this Los Angeles, California shirt, or this actually pretty interesting rose shirt right here. And I think that one's pretty cool. Not only that, but you can also find shirts for different occasions on here. People love purchasing shirts for their kids' birthdays. That announces that they're turning maybe one or two years old. Those types of shirts you can find on Amazon. And rest assured that these types of shirts actually do very well on platforms like eBay and Etsy. Up next in our third spot is a supplier based out of China, and that is Bank. Good. Now, one of the great things about Banggood is the fact that whenever you sign on to the website, you're going to be prompted with a deal or a discount. So whenever you decide to source your products on here, you're always going to be saving at least a couple bucks. Banggood also has a wide variety of different shirts for you to offer. And a lot of the different garments also have some pretty fair prices. Now, last but not least, we have eBay. One of the best things about eBay is the fact that you're able to see what has sold in the past. You can see what sold yesterday for that matter. This is super helpful because it tells you exactly what people are currently searching for and what they're purchasing. So in order to do this, it's really easy. Just search up what you're looking for, in this case, t-shirts. And then on the sidebar, just go ahead and scroll all the way down. And we're going to go ahead and look for show only. Once we see show only, we're going to click on sold items and then wait for it to refresh. And then once everything's loaded, you're going to see all of the different items that have sold and for how much. eBay also has fantastic customer service. And best of all, they have the buyer seller protection program. So if as a buyer or even as a seller, there's any problem with the transaction, with the order or the item itself, you can always go ahead and contact eBay and they'll take care of whatever's going on. So up until now, we've learned how you can find best selling shirts as well as what suppliers to source them from. We found out how we can import them to our store quickly and effortlessly. And next up, we need to find out 
where we're going to start selling. So for this, we have a few different options. You can either sell on your own website or you can sell on a marketplace. Now, the difference between the two is simple. On your own website, you're going to be structuring it the way that you want it. It's going to be your website. When you're selling on a marketplace, you're going to be selling on that marketplace's rules. Now, what are some examples of the different types of marketplaces and websites? Well, if you want to start your own website with your own online store, then you have a few different places to look at. So for one, the most popular is always going to be Shopify. Aside from that, you have Wix and you have WooCommerce. On your own website, you can pretty much sell whatever you want. Even though there are some limits to that, there are some things that you shouldn't be drop shipping products such as firearms, tobacco, and a few other things. You really don't have limits to how much you can sell. For the most part, you're going to be able to sell as many items as you want, but it's going to be up to you to customize the website and bring in your own traffic. So since nobody's going to know that your website's there, it's going to be your job to be able to start marketing that website, whether it be through paid ads or organic traffic, such as content marketing, like making TikTok or Instagram videos to get the name of your website out there so that people know where to look for you. Now, if you go the opposite route and you decide to go with a marketplace, then you can enjoy free organic traffic. People that go to marketplaces such as eBay, Amazon or Etsy are ready to make a purchase. So they're going to that website with the intent of buying something. So selling on these marketplaces, you don't have to worry about bringing in traffic, but you are going to have things like higher fees as well as certain limits such as selling limits or potential holds to new accounts. Personally, I prefer selling on a marketplace such as Etsy because to be completely honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of marketing. I don't like doing Facebook ads and I don't like building websites, even though I know how to do it. It's just not my thing. It, I get bored of it really quick. And truthfully speaking, I enjoy the free organic traffic. Now, if you do decide to go with a website, websites such as Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce, then you have a few different options to be able to market your website. So for one, you can do PPC ads or pay-per-click ads such as Facebook ads, or you can do free organic traffic. Now for free organic traffic, there's also a few different options to go with. For one, you have content marketing. With content marketing, you can record TikTok videos, Instagram videos, or YouTube videos showing off a particular product and direct people to your website. A few other options for free organic marketing are going to be things like email marketing or writing a blog. Now, if you decide to sell on a marketplace, you still have the option to market your products to get them in front of the eyes of a wider audience. Each platform is going to have its own way of marketing. But generally speaking, on a platform like eBay, you're going to have promoted listings, which come in the form of standard and advanced. If you want a bit more information on that, you can go ahead and check out the cheat sheet on there. I'm going to have a link to a relevant article that has all of the information that you need. Or if you go with a platform like Etsy, you can promote each listing individually. Now, when that marketing kicks in and it starts working and bringing in new customers, then they're going to start making purchases. Now you have to fulfill your orders. For this, you have a few different options. For one, you have your manual order processing, where in this case, you're going to go ahead and take your customer's information, place the order with your supplier and give them your customer's information instead of yours. Then when the order is shipped, you're going to take that tracking number and update your selling platform as well as your customer with it. Now, the other option is going to be automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS. In order to use automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, you are going to have to be signed up to the AutoDS platform. If you want to do that, you can sign up right now for just $1 for the trial period. Now with automatic orders, what ends up happening is instead of you signing onto your supplier's website and making the purchase, AutoDS is going to do that for you. So they're going to take your banking details or your credit card details, sign on to your supplier's website using your credentials, and they're going to make the purchase on your behalf. After that, they're going to go ahead and update your customer with the tracking number once the item is shipped. Now, if you decide to go the fulfilled by AutoDS route, which is personally my favorite, what ends up happening is instead of AutoDS using your credentials to make the purchase, it's going to use its own buyer accounts. So AutoDS has their own accounts with all of these different suppliers to be able to make the purchase on your behalf. This is great because this can really help with things like account suspension as well as account restrictions for some websites that could potentially be a bit strict with dropshippers. And instead of using your credit card or your banking details, AutoDS is going to use a balance that you top up. After that, you're pretty much done, right? Not quite yet. There's just one last thing that you need to pay attention to. As dropshippers, one thing that we need to really focus on is customer service. So if there's any problem with the customer's order, or if a customer has a question regarding their order, or if they just want to ask you something, they're going to go ahead and reach out to you. At this point, it's imperative that you reply back to them within 24 hours. If you reply back to them a little bit later, it's okay, but try to keep it within the first 24 hours because that's when customers will be the most happiest with your response. And that is how you can start dropshipping t-shirts in the UK. Huge thank you to everyone for watching today, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly does mean a lot. Remember, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember to gain access to that cheat sheet. All you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag dropshipping shirts, and let me know which one of the methods we spoke about today is your favorite. Would you prefer selling bulk blanks or pre-designed t-shirts? Let me know down in the comments below. And once I see that you went ahead and commented, I'll reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. 
and catch you all next time.